All right, I'm going to show quickly how I download digital elevation model data from Living Atlas. Uh, so I have zoomed to uh, the, the vicinity of Glacier National Park where we're needing to download elevation data for. Okay. Uh, before I do that, I need a boundary uh, file that, that gives me a boundary of the national park. Okay. And I show how to do this in class, but and I can go through this again with anybody who who needs it. Um, but I have this in a file here somewhere. Let me find it. GMP boundary. There it is. Okay. So there's the boundary of the park. Okay. I'm just going to change the symbology quickly to a black outline. Okay, um, so the next step is to find elevation data on Living Atlas. And I uh, just click the Add Data button, go to under the portal drop down, go to Living Atlas, and type elevation. And the one that I want is this this one that's the fifth one down, it's called Terrain, and it's just a, a digital elevation model for the entire world. So I'll add that to my map. All right, here's the elevation model, um, and you can see that it extends beyond the border of the national park, so we need to clip it down to just that, uh, that boundary, okay? So the way that we do that is um, by right-clicking on Terrain and go to Data, Export Raster. Okay, so a couple of key steps in here. This, this is the Export Raster tool. Um, by default, it wants to export this as a TIFF file, and we don't want that. Um, so I'm going to tell it to write that in my geodatabase. Okay, so I have my project geodatabase that I've made doesn't matter uh, what geodatabase you use, just use the one that's for your, your project generally. Okay, I'm going to call it GMP underscore elevation. Do not put an extension, just leave it, leave the extension blank. Um, another tricky thing that ArcGIS does is um, it restricts how much, how many cells or how many pixels you can download from Living Atlas to 5,000 columns by 5,000 rows. So it's giving us this red outline saying that this is way too many. Um, so the way that we the way that we adjust that is we change our resolution. We decrease the resolution to the point that we can uh, download the the data. It's below that 5,000 columns by 5,000 rows rows threshold. Okay. Um, I'm going to come back to that in a second. I need to to change the clipping geometry to GMP boundary. Okay, so it knows that it's going to clip to this. And I need to check that box that says it use input features for clipping geometry. And now I'm ready to adjust that resolution. And in class, um, we figured out that it was roughly 28 by 28. Um, got us under that 5,000 by 5,000 threshold. So now I am ready to export my DEM. I'll click the export button and wait for it to export. Okay, that took about two minutes to export. Uh, so now um, I've got a nice digital elevation model that is clipped to my national park boundary. I can turn off, actually remove my original Living Atlas terrain layer from the map. Okay, so now I'm just left with the Glacier National Park boundary overlaid on top of the uh, elevation raster for um, Glacier National Park. So the last thing is to create a shaded relief map from uh, our, our elevation data. Okay, so we need a hill shade. In order to do that, I'm going to go to Analysis, Tools, and type in hill shade. Uh, there are two different hill shades. Either one should work. Uh, your input raster will be your GMP elevation. Uh, you might want to change the output raster name and, and location. This azimuth and altitude uh, 
you can adjust. You don't really need to, though. That just tells you the direction and the um, altitude in the sky, the angle of an direction, angle, and the or the heading, and then the altitude, like how high the sun, the illumination is above the the scene, and that's how it creates the hill shade is by simulating that illumination across the the elevation data that we have. So we don't. I don't usually change that. And then run that. And there's our hill shade. I, dra I grab my DEM, my digital elevation model, and drop it on top of the hill shade. And then make sure your DEM, your elevation raster, is selected. Um, you should have this appearance tab at the top. Make the transparency 35%. And then let's change the color. Just click on the, the color ramp patch there. And let's change the color scheme to elevation number one. If you don't see the names here, you can just click show names, the, the checkbox there, and it'll show you the names. Um, I like elevation one. You're welcome to use any of these elevation ramps that you want to. And there is our lovely shaded relief map of Glacier National Park.